The Department of Aviation Headquarters Marine Corps declared initial operational capability for the AGM-179, a joint air-to-ground missile on the AH-1Z Viper helicopter. The Marine Corps announced this major milestone after the program successfully conducted a robust initial operational test and evaluation period and received delivery of missiles, training, and pertinent equipment. The success of the JAGM system to date is a reflection of the hard work and effort by the Marines, sailors, and civilians at Marine Operational Test and Evaluation Squadron 1, Marine Aviation Weapons and Tactics Squadron 1, Direct and Time Sensitive Strike, and the Light Attack Helicopter Program Offices, the Air Test and Evaluation Squadron 2 1, Fleet Marine Units, our industry partners, and the many years of support received from across the Department of Defense said Marine Corps Assistant Deputy Commandant for Aviation Brig. Testing and evaluation teams from across the Department of Defense conducted extensive analysis of the weapon system's performance, capturing data relevant to its effectiveness on maritime and land targets. Marine Light Attack Helicopter Squadron 267 from 3rd Marine Air Wing will be one of the 1st Marine Corps squadrons to field the JAGM on their upcoming deployment with the 13th Marine Expeditionary Unit. The addition of the JAGM into the Marine Corps' arsenal increases the ability to mass fires in all weather conditions and expands Marine Corps aviation versatility as an integral part of the Fleet Marine Forces. For the first time in flight, the AH-1Z Viper established a two-way connection between a ground station and the aircraft's Link-16 and advanced networking wideband waveform systems. A new capability for the H-1 platform, the Digital Interoperability Suite includes Link-16 and ANW2 data links, a gateway to share information across various networks. Additionally, the suite includes a new digital moving map, enabling the H1 platform to display information from these data links on a common display. Link 16 and ANW2 enable the AH1Z to rapidly share information with other weapon systems, provide greater situational awareness, accelerate the kill chain, and enhance survivability to outmaneuver and defeat the threat across a range of military operations. During the one-hour flight, conducted by Air Test and Evaluation Squadron HX-21, pilots successfully communicated with a multi-band networking manpack radio, the PRC-117G, and the Mobile Systems Integration Lab, a ground station designed by Naval Air Warfare Center Aircraft Division, to validate the suite's connection with the aircraft. The flight was a success and went exactly as expected, said USMC Captain Jason Grimes, the first flight pilot and H-1 project officer with HX-21. There is still work to be done before fleet integration, but it was a step in the right direction in getting a much-needed capability to the HMLA Marine Light Attack Helicopter Squadrons. The flight is the culmination hours of hard work and innovation. I am very proud of the government and industry team's dedication to making this critical capability for the Marine Corps a reality," said Pappas. Led by PMA-276, the effort was a collaboration of the PMA-276 Avionics Integrated Product Team, numerous government and industry partners, including Northrop Grumman, Bell, Kranza Tech Solutions, NAWCAD, Naval Air Warfare Center Weapons Division. J.F. Taylor, and Booz Allen Hamilton. Flight test on the AH-1Z will continue through the summer, with initial fleet integration expected in 2022. In addition, the program is working with Industry and HX-21 to flight test the same DI suite on the UH-1Y Venom later this spring. PMA-276 manages the cradle to grave procurement, development, support, fielding and disposal of the Marine Corps Rotary Wing Close Air Support, Anti-Armor, Armed Escort, Armed Visual Reconnaissance, and Fire Support Program Systems. 
The United States Marine Corps has successfully demonstrated in flight testing a two-way connection between the AH-1Z Viper helicopter and a ground station using new Link-16 hardware and software. Bell Textron Inc., a Textron Inc. company manufactures the AH-1Z Viper and Northrop Grumman Corporation has developed the Link-16 system. Link-16 is part of a defined roadmap of planned improvements designed to ensure the H-1 platform maintains its technological edge and combat capability throughout its service life. Bell is excited to help bring this capability to the USMC H-1 community, said Mike Deslot, Bell H-1 Vice President and Program Director. The ability to participate in the modern and connected battlefield makes the aircraft more lethal and better equipped to support Marines on the ground. Link 16 enables the AH-1Z, unlike any other helicopter in the world with its fully integrated anti-air capability and AIM-9 Sidewinder, to quickly obtain and share information from its sensors with other weapon systems using its onboard digital architecture. This is accomplished through Northrop Grumman's Link 16 package which includes a new digital moving map, a new security architecture, and the Link 16 and Advanced Networking Wideband Waveform Data Links. Northrop Grumman's Link 16 system will help U.S. Marines today and well into the future with critical technology that facilitates coordination, collaboration, and interoperability. By enabling the display and integration of Link 16 data with the H1 system, Pilots of the AH-1Z have greater situational awareness and enhanced survivability, said James Conroy, Vice President, Navigation, Targeting and Survivability, Northrop Grumman. This milestone also highlights our focus on speed to fleet, due to the unprecedented time between demonstrating the concept and getting to first flight. Flexibility and adaptability, using next-generation agile development practices, are the only ways to innovate and keep pace with changing mission needs. Northrop Grumman's Lead Technology Integration Group rapidly architected and integrated a mission package for Link 16, including a modern digital mapping solution for the H-1 platform, while Bell's H-1 program team provided all of the necessary vehicle analysis and modifications to incorporate the mission equipment throughout the existing integrated systems of the AH-1Z. Together, the teams are redefining what it means to rapidly field integrated solutions on existing fielded platforms to increase warfighter capabilities. <laughs>